Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh video of the Clean Architecture playlist. I am Fad Elavi and today we are going to complete the challenge that I gave you about creating all queries and after that and write the service registration for my application layer and persistence layer. Let's start with the queries. We have get all members and I need to follow the naming convention. The first thing that I want to create is a request and after that a request handler. For queries we usually don't have validation. In in some cases you might need to have validation about the parameters that you are going to send to the persistence layer but now we are not going to talk about them let's start by creating a class and call it get all members request I'm going to change it to public record and it should inherit from I request which is coming from this mediator library let me just remove the unnecessary namespaces and now we need to make a decision what is the type that we are going to return from this get all members request you can return the domain model but it is not the best practice the best practice here is to return a dto and i don't have any then i need to create one i'm getting all the members then i should return a list and this list should be from the type member dto i don't have any member dto then let's create it yeah, let's generate the member DTO class here. What do I need to have here? I guess if we have ID, first name, last name, and email, uh, it is enough for the member DTO that I have. And using control and period, I'm going to just create a class and move the type to a class. Then here I have just get all members request and then member dto it is time to create our handler for creating a handler the naming convention is having exactly the same name for the request and add a handler at the end of that this class should be public and should implement i request handler from the get all members request and should return a list of the members now let me just implement it implement the members i need to have a constructor because i need to inject some dependencies and i'm going to inject i mapper let's call it mapper and my repository from the type i member repository let me create a field for mapper and another field for repository okay fine and now it is time to implement my handle method in the handle method first i need to get all the members from the repository i can do it like that await repository that gets all async and i need to make this member async because here i'm awaiting something and the next thing that i want to do is to map this domain the list of the domain model that i'm receiving to a list of the member dto and finally i'm going to return the result but before closing everything i need to go back to the configuration and go to the mapper profiles and member profile because here we are mapping something that we haven't created any profile for it let's go to the profiles and now it is time to create a map i'm going to create a map for member dto and i'm going to let the auto mapper know that member dto should be able to be mapped to the member from my domain layer and as I told you, the first parameter is the source and the second one is the destination, which means that you can just map from this member DTO to domain.member. But if you want to have it both ways, you just need to add reverse map at the end of this create map. And it will work like that. Now that we are getting all the members, it is time to create a member detail query we are receiving just one member and for that one member we need to get one id and return a member d2 or something like that which has more information the name is get member details request fine it should be a public record class and inherit and implement i request interface and let's call this dto that we are going to return member detail dto and let's get rid of all the unnecessary usings and create a class and let's generate a class in a new file 
let's go back to the member details DTO that I created and think about what I need to have here inside this DTO. I guess returning almost everything, all the properties that I have in the model here would be sufficient for me. Later, we are going to improve it and make it a bit better. But for now, let's just stick to it. And now it is time to just generate the handler that I have. I'm just going to copy the name and here paste it and add handler at the end of the name of the request. It should be public and implement I request handler. Uh, we should accept the request name, which is the get member detail and return type should be member detail DTO. And if I want to just implement it, uh, it is like that using control period I can just implement it and now it is time to do the dependency injection it is exactly what I had for get all members I'm going to have one constructor which accepts mapper and repository and here I'm going to use them first of all I'm going to send a request to repository for getting a member using ID but here inside the member I forgot to create ID property for it okay it is fine let's go there and just create one int id and i'm not sure why after updating my visual studio i'm receiving a lot of warnings yeah let's just go back to the handler that i have and now it should work but it should be a sync because i'm evading something here and now it is time to map the domain that I'm receiving from the repository to the DTO that I have. And finally, I need to return it. As you can see here, I have an error. Member detail DTO. I cannot find it because I misspelled detail here. The laziest way to fix it is just copy the name here. Go to the class and plus control R plus R and just rename it. By renaming that, it is going to rename the file itself as well let me just build the application to be sure that everything is buildable and runnable if i have no error i can start with registering the services yeah it is fine i have no error here and now it is time to register our services where should i register my services for dependency injection by definition the startup project which is the api project that i have here is responsible for dependency injection but I really don't like to register my dependencies related to the application inside the API. I need to have one extension method somewhere, maybe in the configuration folder for registering all the dependencies that I have inside this application. But before I start with registering the services, we shouldn't forget that we have one member detail DTO and we need to register this mapping in my profile. Let's start with creating this profile and creating this map. It should be something like that. Create map for member detail DTO and it should be mapped to the domain that member. I'm not going to use reverse for this one. In future, you will realize why. Uh, honestly, I don't know why, but uh, it is really nice to get some errors when we are running the application. Then let's leave it as it is. And inside the configuration, I like to create a file. And the name for the file, the naming convention that I usually follow is the project name plus service registration. Let's create a file for it and name it the application service registration. For registering my application, first I need to have a public class. And because I want to create an extension method in it, it should be a static as well. Now I need to create a method for registering my services public static and the type that i'm going to return is i service collection let's name it uh, add application services i need to pass i service collection with prefix this to it let's call it services and let's return services just not to have any kind of errors and now i need to register my services the services that i have here is automapper and mediator I need to write services that add mediator and option option that register services from the assemblies and assembly that gets executing assembly and do not forget the semicolon I'm using that because 
I want mediate R or mediator library to scan this assembly, which is my application and find all request and request handler and map them together. Then, then I call one of the requests, for example, in the API layer, it knows that how to handle it using the handler. And the next thing that I have is this auto mapper. I need to register auto mapper and let it know that I created some maps for it. And I will do that using services add uh, auto mapper and I need to tell use this executing assembly. Okay, I guess it is fine. Just let me get rid of all unnecessary usings and go to the persistence layer because inside the persistence layer, I need to inject my dependencies as well. I need to have a configuration folder here, configuration, and then I need to have one static class and based on the naming convention that I have, I'm going to call it persistence service registration. Inside this public static class, I need to create an extension method public static and it should return iService collection. Let's add it at persistence services. This iService collection services and I need to have some configuration. Then I configuration and let's call it configuration and I need to import this I configuration from using Microsoft extension configuration. The reason I need this configuration is in this persistence layer, I need to get connected to the database. Then I need to read the configuration that my API is passing to me and use it as a connection string for my DB context. First, I need to register my DB context services that add context. I need to specify the type of the DB context that I have and then passing an option. And the only option that I need here is use a SQL server. And from the configuration, I'm getting the connection string and let's call it library and connection a string. And now it is time to register the dependency between my generic repository and the implementation of generic repository and member repository and iMember repository. It is easy. It should be like services add a scope iMember repository to member repository. And I need to do exactly the same thing for the generic repository that I have. It should be like services that add a scope, but because it is generic, I need to use type of I generic repository and type of generic repository and semicolon because in runtime, I don't know what type exactly it should be because the type I generic repository from type member and I generic repository from type book are two different types and I just want to tell it regardless of type that we are passing to this generic repository I want to map it exactly based on the type and whatever type it is find the exactly the same implementation with that type and map them together and eventually I need to return the service fine let me just get rid of the unnecessary usings and go back to my API. Now I just want to register my dependencies. Let me close all the tabs that I have and go to the program.cs. Here is the part that I can register my dependencies. First of all, I'm going to use builder.services.add application services. Why it doesn't realize that I have something like that? Sometimes it happens. I need to add the using and the using is the using a librarian dot application and then configuration i guess now it should work for me okay and now i need to register builder.services at persistent service and pass builder.configuration it is not detecting this one again First of all, let me check if I have a reference to it. No, I just have a reference to application. Then let me add the project reference to this persistence layer. Fine. And if I go back to the program.cs, hopefully, yeah, it is not going to add it for me. Then I'm just going to use copy and paste and use the persistence.configuration. Now everything is done.
and because i am returning i service collection instead of using builder.services i can just use it like fluent apis and write down builder.services add application services and then add persistent services without duplicating this builder.services okay it was almost all i prepared for today in the next video we are going to create the database migration and setting the data to the database migration and see what are the best practices to do so if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And by hitting the bell, you will get notified every time that I upload another video and you will have the chance to be the first one who is watching it. Enjoy your life as a developer and keep practicing.